The original recipe here had smoked ham hocks in it. Yeah, go Google what those are. So how are we going to get around it? We're going to use liquid smoke. So let's get started. So here we go. Here I have two chopped white onions. They could be yellow onions. It doesn't matter. You know how to chop an onion. You don't need to see me do that. So two large onions chopped. This is six cloves of garlic kind of minced, all right? I've got a tablespoon of liquid smoke, a teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of coarse, kosher salt, and two teaspoons of smoked paprika. And that is a pound of black eyed peas I soaked overnight. Now, if you don't soak them overnight, you're just going to increase the cooking time, okay? Now, I'm gonna do this in the Instapot, but you don't have to do it in the Instapot. I will give instructions on if you're gonna do it on the stovetop as well as if you're gonna do it in the Instapot. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the onions and the garlic and the spices in the Instapot, and I'll be right back. Okay, I swear, I put this in the Instant Pot myself. You just didn't see me do it. Okay, so I've got the onions, the garlic, and the spices in the Instant Pot, and I'm gonna just start getting a sweat on those. I didn't add the liquid smoke because I don't want it all to like evaporate or anything. So we're gonna get let this saute a little bit, and then we'll add the beans and the water. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, then you would just be doing this on top of the stove, okay? Good. All right, the onions have a little bit of color on them now, so I'm gonna add the beans. I'm gonna add three cups of water and the liquid smoke. All right, I've decided that three cups of water isn't enough. I'm gonna add one more cup of water. So it's a total of four cups of water. Now I'm gonna put the lid on. Okay, got the lid on the Instant Pot. Now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna to go to manual. And I'm gonna set that to four minutes. All right. So then I'm gonna let the steam escape naturally. I'm not gonna do the quick release on the Instant Pot. And uh, once that's done, we'll see, uh, we'll see what we got. So this is a two-part recipe. This is like the first step. The next step is I've gotta roast some tomatillos and some peppers in the oven. So we'll get back to that. Okay, so here we've got four poblanos. Those are the bigger peppers. These are four serranos. And then this is a pound and a half of tomatillos. Um, if you've never seen these, you, maybe you've seen them and thought, oh, what is that weird thing? They come in a husk like this. This is the husk. And you just peel this husk off. It's really simple. If it kind of sticks a little bit, you can just rinse it under water and it will come right off. So it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but anyway, it's just like a paper husk. So these are tomatillos. They're used to make salsa verde, or uh, green salsa, so uh, they don't taste like tomatoes. They're um, actually quite sour. So anyway, um, we I'm going to have these and take the seeds out of all the peppers. So I will get right back to you. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna roast all of the poblanos, half of the serranos, and half of the tomatillos in a 400 degree oven. Okay, I'm gonna roast those for about 15 minutes, or we'll see, we'll check them, we'll check them in 10 and we'll see how far we go, okay? Uh, the other tomatillos and the other half of the serranos, these are going in at the end and uh, they don't get roasted, okay? Now, for these serranos, these little, these little suckers are pretty hot. And when you take the seeds out, my first inclination is to use my fingernail and just work down through there. But if you've ever done that, you get like, seed that 
rib and that those seeds underneath your fingernails, man, that can burn. So what I like to do is I like to use like a little teaspoon, can you see that? A little teaspoon like this and just scrape that out real quick, just like and I can't do it because I can't hold the pepper in one end and the camera in the other, but you get it, right? You just like and that all comes out. Okay? Little tip. All right, so we're gonna roast these at 400. And here they are. I ended up roasting them for the full 20 minutes. Uh, you can see here what it looks like. Everything looks kind of wrinkly and brown and roasted. So the beans are done. They're all cooled down. I just let them do a natural release. So when the button comes down, there's a little button, you know, that when it's under pressure, it's up. And when it's fully released, it's down. So, so these are done, the beans are done, so now I just have to add the verde to this and I get a chance to use my big, my big, uh, what is this, like a 64 ounce, 64 ounce Vitamix container. I don't get a chance to use this big one very much. Um, that's the one it came with. And then I bought this, um, I think this is a 32 ounce. This is what I use mostly, but I'm gonna get a chance to use the big one. So all I'm gonna do, is I'm going to add in all of this that we roasted. Okay, so this was roasted at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. I'm going to put that along with the ones that aren't roasted. So these are all just raw. So I'm just going to put this in the uh, Vitamix with some cilantro, two cups I believe, and blend it up. And it was two cups that they called for of cilantro. So I got all of that in there with with the two cups, with the two cups of cilantro. I'm just gonna puree this until it's smooth. All right, and I'm calling this smooth, smooth enough, smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna just add this in with the beans. I'll get that all out of there, don't you worry. Get it stirred up. And then I'm going to season it with salt and pepper if it needs it. So let me get this going. Okay, so this made it, this makes a lot. So you could easily have this recipe, all right? Um, and I did add quite a bit more salt because I have a salt problem. I'm sorry. And uh, I added pepper. Um, it's, got, it's got a little bit of heat, but not a lot. Not as much as you think. So um, don't be worried about the, the chilies. So I'm um, gonna serve this garnished with sour cream, some raw onion and avocado, and I'll show you that when I plate this up. I wanted to talk to you about the sour cream. Um, I use uh, this recipe here, it uses, um, you probably all got your own sour cream recipe and that's great. This one's got silken tofu and it's got sesame seeds, lemon juice, uh, maybe some ground mustard powder in it. But what I added, and I don't even know why I thought about it, but I had bought this lactic acid um, to make cheese. Um, and I had Googled what you know people use lactic acid for, and it says it's got it's a sour flavoring. This one's made from beets. And I'm like, man, sour cream, I think. I know you put lemon juice in it, but I don't always get that real that kind of sour, sour cream flavor to it. I just put like a teaspoon of this in this, and it's, oh, it, it, it added to it. So I, I don't think I've ever seen a vegan sour cream recipe that calls for lactic acid, but if you happen to have some lactic acid laying around the house, why don't you uh, try putting a little in your uh, vegan sour cream next time you make it. Okay, so I will show you this when I get it plated up. All right, so now that I'm off the potato cleanse and back on Dr. Gregor's Daily Dozen where I try to get in what he recommends every day from the Daily Dozen foods, I realized I haven't had any grain today. So I thought, oh, I bet that that uh, green chili, that chili verde would be good over some rice. So. Back to the Instant Pot because you know it takes a long time to cook brown rice. So I took the soup out and I put the brown rice in. I'm going to cook up some brown rice to serve with that chili verde. Alright, here we 
here we go. Here it is. Served over some basmati, brown basmati rice. I got the chili salsa verde with some sour cream, tofu sour cream, avocado, a little onion, a little cilantro, and a squirt of lime juice. The recipe will be down below.